as you know, people from the East Coast uh, tend to be from a relatively small community. <clears throat> and I got a, uh, an email from Jacques Poitras, who was here last year as a finalist. And he said, uh, Russell, you got to go. They treat you really good. <laughs> and I have to say it's true. And I ha also have to say that I've spent a fair amount of my writing career in Western Canada. Um, I've been at the Banff Centre in Alberta twice. Uh, I've been here for the Vancouver Writers' Festival, an absolutely exquisite event. Um, the first place is I was ever treated professionally as a writer. And in fact, from the Banff Centre, I still have my card on the top that says artist. And I take it out and look at it on a regular basis. Burning Down the House is not the book I meant to write. Um, it's not the book I pitched the publishers on. It's not the book they accepted. Um, and I was a little upset that they would be annoyed when they got the first draft. But uh, um, I had sent them a treatment uh, to an editor who I'd worked with who had, had dealt with part of the material before in, uh, in an anthology uh, put together by Ian Brown. Um, I had meant it to be far more of a surface book than it turned out to be. I got the first draft done. I looked at it. And I thought, oh, my God. This is going to be like going places in public with no pants. Um, what am I going to cut out to make it less personal? Because it had all of the things I didn't want anyone to know about me. In the end, I cut out nothing. Well, I cut out one bit that was libelous about another firefighter. But um, because I thought it would make, that it would bring something to the, uh, to, to help other firefighters and emergency workers, and it has helped a number, and I've heard from a lot of them. Um, unfortunately, I've also heard that I'm not that much different from a lot of firefighters. Uh, I, um, I'd love to fight fire.